So we can now check from this relation that what will be the, the whether the one to the choices that we can create it manually, whether this equation is giving us those choices. For example, the very first one, when n1 is 1 and d1 of course in all cases is 3. So the number of ways d1 so 3 factorial by 1 factorial and d1 minus 1 so it is 2 factorial and it is equal to 3. So the number of choices are 3. When n1 is equal to 2, d1 of course is 3. So this is 3 factorial by 2 factorial and 3 minus 3 minus 2, 1 factorial. So again we got the number of choices is 3. When n1 is equal to 3, d1 the same, then d1 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial and 3 minus 3 so 0. 0 factorial is 1 and the number of choices 1. And when I go to a higher number like n1 is 4 so here I will get a negative and negative it's not possible here because this equation is not working for the when n1 exceeds when n1 exceeds d1 then it is not possible for the fermions to be calculated so i can say that qn from here qn is equal to qn1 into n3 is equal to i runs from 1 up to infinity dn factorial by n n factorial dn minus n n whole factorial. So this way the total number of ways can be calculated for identical fermions. In case 3 we will discuss identical bosons. Now the very first two statements are the same because it is the particles are identical particle it doesn't matter in which state which particle is in which state the third statement is different from the fermions is not more than one fermions can be in a given state but on bosons we have no restrictions then how many particles can occupy the same state and this will class A increase in the number of ways. So let's start with again with the same examples that when we are having D1 equals 3, psi theta, psi 1, psi 2, psi 3 are three distinct states which possess the same energy E1. Now what I am doing, I am taking one particle. So n1 is equal to 1. How many choices do I have? I have 3 choices. Because I can put inside 1, I can put it inside 2 and inside 3. Now when n is equal to n1 is equal to 2, I pick 2 particles. Then so I have 6 choices. And what are those choices? I can put both the particles in sine 1, sine 1, or one in sine 1 and the other in sine 2. Similarly, here I can put both in sine 2, sine 2, or one in sine 2 and the other in sine 
3. And on I can put both the particles inside 3 are one inside 3 and the other inside 1. So this way I can have 6 choices. Now it will become complicated when we are having in one, when I have three particles, then how many choices do I have? So a total, this, in this I have a total of 10 choices. Now how? This can be done like this. Then I will uh, devise a strategy and let's say is I means all the same then one different similarly in three two different and so on so I have let's say I put all the particles in psi 1 psi 1 psi 1 psi 1 or I put all the particles in psi 2 or I put all the particles in psi 3 so here I see that all the same and now I can put two particles in psi 1 and one particle in psi 2 similarly two psi 1 and one in psi 3 then psi 2 psi 2 and psi 1 psi 2, psi 2, psi 3. Similarly, psi 3, psi 3, psi 1 and psi 3, psi 3, psi 2. Now here I can say 2 the same. And then all the same. Psi 1, Psi 2, Psi 3. I put the three particles in three states and I say all different. These are, means we have two options, uh, three options here. All the same, all different. Then, is the particles are three, so two the same. Now, when I have, so the total are 10 chances, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 6, 10. So the total are 10 chances. Now, when n1 is equal to 4 particles, then how many choices do I have? What I will do? I will write means 2, the n equal to 4. So, I will have here, first I will do all the same, like psi 1, psi 2, psi 3, psi 4. Then I will go to 3 the same, then 2 the same, then all different. And this way I will calculate the n1 equal 4 means all the same. 3 the same, then 2 the same, and then all different. So this way I will calculate the number of choices. But as the number increases, then calculation this way is becoming difficult. So I will have to devise another strategy for this and let's say I start again with this example when n1 is equal to 3, when n1 is equal to 3 and d1 is equal to 3. So I can say that I can label my choices is the first one, psi 1, psi 1, psi 1. So I can write the psi 1 
psi 1, psi 1 here. So one particle in this one, one particle in this one, and one particle in this one, and no particle in psi 2, and no particle in psi 3. So this I can say, one particle, one particle in psi 1, one particle in psi 1, one particle in. So all the three particles in psi 1, while no particle in psi 2 and psi 3. If I am having this combination, when psi 1, psi 1, psi 2. So for this one I can write psi 1, psi 1 and psi 2. So two particles in state 1 and one particle in state 2 and no particle in state 3. But when I go from one state to another state, let me separate this with a cross. So one state, then another state, cross another state. And here cross and another state but is there is no particle so I am not writing any dot here. And when I go to this one, psi 1, psi 2, psi 3, then I can write it like this, psi 1, psi 2, psi 3. So, particle here, a separator, particle here, a separator and particle here. Now I will not write cross here because there is no other state so that I can put a separator as I did here. Because here was an available state. So as particle was not there so I don't write it here but this is a separator between the state. Particle, then separator, and particle, and separator, and particle. So this way, it is like placing, it is like placing N1 balls in D1 baskets. How many ways you can do this thing? Now there is no uh, restrictions on putting all the bars in one basket or putting some in one and then some in another or even keeping one of or any basket empty. So there is no restriction on that. So for the complicated example, let's say we are having N1. So complicated example, let's consider we are having uh, N1 equals 7. We are having 7 particles and D1 equals 5. The states are 5. So one possible way is that I write that I put here like two particles I place in state 1. Then I go to another state and I place another particle and I go to another state and I place let's say three particles there and then I go to another state and I place one particle there and this is if the states are 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and here I will put a separator and here will be 5. But if the number of particles are finished because 1 and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is one of the way that I can put them, I can shovel them but the number of crosses will remain the same. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we are having 5 
states so the number of classes will be 4 and I can write now this in the states form is psi 1, psi 1, psi 2, psi 3, psi 3, psi 3 and psi 4 and that's it. So two particles in state 1, one particle in state 2, three particles in state 3 and one particle in state 4. So this way I can find a solution that there are how many dots? There are n one dots is the dots represent the particles and how many crosses it will be one less than d1 so d1 minus 1 so I can write if I label them that if I label the dot and cross distinctly like a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h and so on then I can say that the total number of the labeled things is dots plus cross and this will be equal to n1 plus d1 minus 1. So the number of the total I can write the total is equal of dots and crosses is n1 plus d1 minus 1 and is if I am having n particles then how many ways I can arrange them this will be n factorial so if the total is this one then it means the total ways and I can arrange them will be the factorial of this total n1 plus d1 minus 1 factorial but there is one thing that all the dots are identical they are the same means these three if for example I put means exchange them the dots are all the same so it means I am counting more numbers more ways here like means if I exchange this dot with this one then I don't recognize them they are identical so I will have to divide this with the number of dots is they are identical and this will be n1 factorial the number of dots will be total number will be n1 factorial and similarly if I exchange these two classes with each other then I don't recognize them so they will also be addition and or calculation so I will have to divide by this number as well means I will have to exclude the identical nature of these so I can write that the total number of ways in which I will be able to arrange the bosons is L1, N2 and N3 is equal to summation of uh, the product in from I1 to infinity and this is N, N minus D, N minus 1 this will be plus minus 1 whole factorial divided by N, N factorial D, N minus 1 factorial so this way I can calculate the number of 
ways in which I can arrange the identical bosons and of course it is much much larger than I calculated for the identical fermions and this the last assumption here is plain a keyhole that I can put more than two or more than two more than one bosons in a given state there is no restriction on that